What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Without wasting any of your time, we're gonna show you how to do a plank A to Z with three common mistakes and three amazing variations. So the plank is a great exercise for your core, but I find so many people do it improperly. So let's start with the common mistakes. Number one, I find way too many people have improper body positioning. They allow, so when they get down into the plank position, they allow themselves to let their butt sink down way too low, or they go up way too high, right? So pretty much this is just not gonna be an actual plank and this isn't gonna get your core going at all, right? So you pretty much wanna just keep everything nice and straight. And one of my biggest issues, I've always seen people doing like, I wanna go for as long as I can for the plank, five minutes, 10 minutes, like gyms will do plank competitions. And a lot of times people just end up hurting their back or just don't end up doing anything at all and it's a waste of time. Common mistake number two is improper body positioning. So once again, a plank is supposed to be hard and I find so many people are going for max time. Right? You want to try to do a hard plank and what I mean by that is when you get on the ground a lot of times people will have their arms way too close here and that's not going to do a whole lot. A good challenge to make this an actual tougher exercise is put your elbow out in front of you like this and keep everything nice and tight. That alone for like 5 to 10 seconds is going to be way harder than when your elbows are too close. Right, So I just find people don't have proper elbow positioning. So just to show you that again, you want to make sure that you're doing a nice hard plank, your elbows are out here, and that alone I'm starting to shake. Here, sitting here, I could do this all day. I'm just kind of resting on my elbows and it's super chill. And last but not least is just not being super tight. With a plank, I find so many people will just jump on the ground, they don't think about anything, they're like, okay, I'm ready, right? You want to make sure to squeeze your entire core, keep the glutes engaged, squeeze the glutes, and just flex your entire body, even shoulders, get, it's, get a nice full body movement going, right? So pretty much I've showed you how to do the exercise, but I'll kind of run through it again. Jump onto the ground, push your elbows out here a little bit, keep the core tight, nice straight line with your neck and your entire body, and just pretty much hang out here. It's good to have some music because this will be tough, but you know, once again, if you're doing this for three to five minutes, like you gotta ask yourself, am I doing proper form here? I'd say around 30 seconds to a minute from doing an actual hard plank with everything tight, um, it gets really challenging. So with that being said, there's so many great plank variations and I'm gonna jump into my favorite one, especially because this is great for people who have lower back pain and it's just simply a side plank. So when it comes down to it and you set up, you just wanna pretty much go here a lot of people like to stack their legs on top of each other. I don't find that as effective. I like to put my one foot here, keep everything nice and in line. You know, and if you are, if this is too easy for you and you don't wanna go on your elbows, you can lift up here and do one of these bad boys, right? So a side plank is amazing. Once again, great if you have lower back pain and just an amazing alternative, okay? Number two is a plank up down. And I personally love these. Great because it gets the entire upper body, kind of like a cardio movement. So pretty much, Starting here, you're just gonna go up and then down, up and then down. And one of the biggest things is, if you're not ready for this movement, the next one's gonna be better for you. But I find too many people will do something like this and then shift their entire body just to get up and down, okay? That's not gonna be as useful. And this is great um, as like a prerequisite to doing any rowing movement, into doing renegade rows, anything like that. It's gonna be a simple shoulder tap. If you're someone that can't do one of these, definitely recommend practicing it, keeping your core tight on your hands. Boom, 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 boom. Once again, common mistake, too many people shifting like this. You gotta have that control within your core, right? It's something that will come with practice. But anyways, hopefully that's helpful for you. I could go on for days with so many different variations. Make sure to click the first link in the description, full form guide, 68 pages, personal trainer in your pocket. And if you are looking for a fitness coach to help you get to the next level and get the results that you deserve, click the second link, fill out our, uh, you know, just little guide to see if you're the right fit for our coaching program. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.